back with a celebrity inspired look which I haven't done in a while so I'm super excited about this. This is a Jennifer Lopez inspired smoky eye. I love this look. It's so fun for going out. It's like a super intense eye look but it doesn't close up your eyes. It actually makes your eyes still look quite big because the way um, she does her eyeshadows. We did the type of eye shape that she does which is this really sultry shape by doing light to dark shadows. There was a couple inspiration pictures that I used for this look. If you guys wanna see them, you can click on the link below. There I will also list all the products that I used to get this look. So if you wanna see how to get this JLo Classic Smoky Eye, just keep watching. I've prepped my top lid with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk lining my lower lash line with it so this will hold all of the eyeshadow we place and you won't have to worry about any fallout at all i want this eyeshadow look to be really intense so applying cream shadows first is going to help you get that so i'm starting off with the silver uh cream shadow from the makeup forever flash color set and i'm using whoops um in brush number 12 and i'm applying this silver and the first part of my lid up to my crease about halfway in you don't need to go too far in with this take that same color and apply just a bit in the inner corner of the lower lash line on the outer corner I'm taking this dark gray cream shadow this one is also from makeup forever it's one of their um, aqua creams and I'm just placing this on the other half of my lid, blending it into that silver. And do the same thing for your lower lash line. Now that we have these cream shadows as a base, our eyeshadows that we use are gonna come up so much more vibrant and really intense. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is this one from Wet n Wild which has all the colors that I wanted for this look. So it's kind of perfect. Several different shades of grey, so a medium, a light and this sparkly shimmery uh, dark grey and then this light white shadow uh, as a highlight and then the really dark black shadow. So this is all I'm going to be using for the eye look. I'm starting off with the lightest silver shade putting it over that silver cream shadow we applied. I'm using my shadow brush, this is Mint 22. Next I'm taking the medium gray shadow. Now I'm starting from the middle of my lid. Then for the outer corner, I'm taking the darkest gray shadow, starting from the out and going in. Blend out that outer corner really gently, just to soften the edge. I'm using my blending brush. This is Mint 20 blending brush. And I'm applying very little pressure as I'm doing this. I just want to soften that edge so it doesn't look like a hard line. I'm going to repeat the same steps on the lower lash line, but this time using my pencil brush. It's the same thing we did up top. I'm taking a clean mint 22 and the white highlighter color and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone so just applying it underneath my brows and blending down and then on the outer corner of the eye I'm going to really pack on this black eyeshadow be careful when you're doing this start with a little bit and then build rather than just going all out on your first try because this part can get a little bit messy. So just apply a little bit, take your blending brush, 
blend out just the edge. You're not blending out the actual eyeshadow, you're just blending out the edge. And then go back and add more. You want to add the same black shadow on your lower lash line in the outer corner, really connected to that. Both corners connect with the shadow to get it nice and intense. Take a black eyeliner and line your entire eye. So waterline, tight line your top waterline, and then we're going to apply it a bit along our lash, the base of our lashes also. I'm going to curl my lashes, add tons of mascara, top and bottom, and I'm going to throw on a pair of false lashes as well. So now for my favorite part of the look, because this is what really brings the entire look together, it's time to perfect our skin. I'm starting by using a primer. This is the CoverGirl Olay Serum Primer. I'm just applying this in the key areas of my face. Next I'm applying the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm applying it with Mint Brush number 10 Foundation Brush. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm applying it with Mint Brush number 12 Concealer Brush. How much do you guys love concealer? I, like seriously. <laughs> It makes such a difference. I swear, makeup is just not the same without concealer. I set my entire face with a bit of powder using the MAC Blot Powder and Mint Brush 44 Powder Brush. And now I'm going in with a bit of bronzer because JLo's known for her bronzy glow. We are going to imitate that effect. So I'm using my powder brush and this is still Mint 44 and I'm using this bronzer from Wet n Wild which is a really great color. Uh, this one is called, what is this one called? Ticket to Brazil, how appropriate. And we're gonna apply this in the sh shape of the number three from our temple, cheekbone, jawline. So you can see it gives us that really pretty bronzy effect. a hint of color on my cheeks because she never wears too much blush. Um, it's always very subtle. If anything, it's more of a bronze tone on her cheeks. But I'm going to add just a bit of color because I think it will really bring out the look. Uh, I'm using this peachy blush from Wet n Wild. This is called Pearlescent Pink number 831 and I'm applying it with Mint 46 Blush Brush. I'm going to apply it just a little bit on your apples and blend black. Blend back. That sounded weird. <laughs> JLo also usually keeps her brows very light. So I'm just brushing up the hairs on my brows. This is Mint Brush 36 Brow Brush. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to run this brow gel through it. It's a nice light color, so it's going to lighten the color of my brows, which is what I want. Plus, it's going to hold the hairs in place. I'm 
The last step for this look is the traditional JLo nude lip. She usually does a peachy nude. So this is the color that I'm using from Wet n Wild. It's number 900 and it's called Pink Sugar. I'm going over it with a really light nude gloss. This is from Rimmel London. This is number 801 Goddess. And I'm applying it with my lip brush, Mint 32, just so I can have a bit more control on where the gloss is going. So there's the final look guys. I really hope you like this Jennifer Lopez inspired smoky eye. I miss doing these celebrity looks so I'm going to be doing a lot more of these because this is actually what I enjoy doing the most. So if you guys have any celebrity looks that you want me to recreate, please leave it in the comments below or send me the inspiration picture on my Facebook page or you can tweet at me or post it on Instagram at Iman Makeup so I can see the picture and I will try my best to recreate it. Thanks guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Not too much. This is a great look for uh, white.